<laughs> actually made it snuck back in there. Everything should be good. Hey, it's our first time in the uh, new set here. So we got a whole new uh, set that you can see behind us. Uh, you can see some of it anyways, right? Yeah. Um, but this is our first time using this in the new office here. We're, we're sort of building it out. I've been talking about uh, uh, trying to build a place where people can come by and kind of see what's going on. Very raw at the moment. Actually, if you go on um, uh, our Instagram, I've done some videos. I've taken some pictures, just kind of everything. So if you happen to go over to our Instagram page, you uh, will probably see that it, you know, doesn't, doesn't look, look like much at the moment, but it's a work in progress. progress. This, this is the, the first, first of our set, set. and uh, yeah, so, so hopefully everything sounds, sounds good. Uh, you can hear me. We didn't mess up anything. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a couple things that uh, we have messed up, but we'll figure it out as we go. If you're watching this for the first time, I'm Dustin Timmons, financial advisor with Jazz Wealth. We just happen to be excited about our new sort of setup here. Uh, we're going with a blackboard instead of a whiteboard, so we've got some markers coming for that. And uh, lots of changes kind of in front of or behind the camera, as uh, a lot of people have been asking about. So um, bear with us. I'm sure we'll make a few mistakes along the way, but uh, we just love sort of the setup already. And the streaming is all wireless now. It is all um, fiber optic. So it should really give us no problems, or so we're hoping. So I'm sure there'll be some issues along the way. But anyways, that's where we're at right now. Um, Look, as far as the topic for today's video, um, I thought I would cover the after hours side of things because, you know, especially today, you probably saw that more so in the news than before where people would say the markets are up or the Dow was up 400 points uh, pre, pre market, right? Or so they might have said overnight. Like if you looked at the markets last night, you go, oh man, it's going to be a great day. The stock market's up 400 points, or at least the Dow was up that much to start. But, but that's, that's before, before you even wake, wake up. up. That's, that's before, before you, you know, you know open up the computer, computer, turn on your phone, phone look, look at the thing and see what the quotes are. are. And, and so, so a lot, a lot of times, times you'll even hear me say after, after hours, hours, like on the Closing Beat show that we do at 5 o'clock, you'll hear me say, um, this stock is up after reporting earnings after hours. And you go, well, wait a minute, isn't the stock market closed? I mean, how do we, what's going on there? So I thought today we'd just do a really, really short video just to sort of break in everything, the new set, make sure nothing falls down on me and, or crashes or something. Uh, so we're just making a real short one. If we can help you in any way, feel free to leave a comment. See, I haven't even put up the new comment thing here, so I can't even see what you guys are saying there. There you go. And uh, there you go. Oh, so yeah, need a, need a little, uh, you got a little too much echo there. Let's go like this. There you go. And we'll turn off, give me one second, just make sure. I think that did the trick there, right? Yeah, we were picking up audio from two sides. Let me know if that's better, much better now. Um, so basically, uh, to cover the idea of uh, the after hours pre-market uh, sort of thing, uh, there's a couple different ways you can look at this. Um, How is that now? Let me know. Is that good in there? I think it looks good. Everything is muted. Works better? All right. I love it. Okay. Uh, here's what you got. You've got a couple different areas that you can look. So you have um, the futures market and the stock market, right? So you can look in two different areas for this. Um, primarily, when people are talking about the after hours um, or overnight session in particular, they're talking about the futures market. So um, when you look on TV in the mornings and, and the market's not even open yet and they're already broadcasting whether the market's going to be up or down, uh, that's what they're talking about. They're talking about the futures market trading overnight. And here's how this works. If you're a futures trader or you're interested in it, they really don't close. The futures market's pretty much good to go nonstop. It actually um, opens at 6 p.m. on Sunday. So last night, 6 p.m., happened to have my phone up there. I was excited. I heard about the truce thing with Trump. And uh, so um, you've got... Um, what have we got? You pull up the futures market, and at 6 p.m., those open, you could see the stock market starting higher, at least the futures market. And that gives you a great indication as to what might happen in the morning. Now, as the night progresses, midnight, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, you can still see that uh, the futures markets are higher. So although the stock market is not open, technically the index, the indices are open. And so by the time we hit 9.30 and the stock market opens, now we have all the individual stocks that get to participate. Now, the futures market closes at 5 o'clock Eastern time uh, each day, and it only closes for one hour, and that's just so it can reset. We can 
count one day from the next. So in your statement, you're able to see where did one day close and what, where did one day uh, begin. And so uh, that's the futures market. So anytime somebody says uh, the stock market's up overnight, the stock market is up, it's five o'clock in the morning, everything's going great and the stock market's higher. Well, a lot of times that has to do with the futures market. So that's the first step. Now, when we report earnings uh, at the, on the five o'clock show, our closing beat, now when we say a stock reported earnings and it's higher after hours, basically that just means it is trading in the after hours market or extended market, depends on which uh, exchange you look at, that they call it different things. Um, and so all that means is that the actual ability to trade stocks, most stocks, uh, most big name stocks, can go on until I believe about 8.15 at night. So even though the stock market itself officially closes at 4 p.m. Eastern every day, um, you can trade stocks like Apple, for example. You'd be able to consistently trade that if you wanted to buy and sell. There's some limitations on the order types that you can place, but you could actually trade that up until 8.15 uh, p.m. Eastern time. And so that window from 4 o'clock, I believe it's 4.15 actually, from 4.15 to 8.15 is your after hours window. Therefore, if you happen to find a stock, like let's say Apple, uh, that had a drastic move after, after hours and you wanted to sell your position or buy into that, whatever it is, you don't really have to wait until the next morning. So, here's the thing. From about four to about six, on most of the big name stocks, there's some activity, right? Apple, Netflix, Amazon, you get it, the big guys. There's a little activity. Uh, once you get past six o'clock, almost, there's almost nothing going on. So it's not like it's worthwhile to really go for it and, and try to make some money after hours. There's not a lot going on. Um, and a lot of it has to do on the big names there. Now, in the morning, you've got the pre-market. And so the pre-market, actually, I, th I think it starts at like five o'clock in the morning. It might be four o'clock. I, mean, I think it's 4.15 if I had to pick a specific number. I think it's 4.15, the electronic uh, pre-market starts. And so if you're an early bird, technically you can start trading. However, not really anything happens until about 8 o'clock, 7.45, 8 o'clock. So um, although the ability is there, it doesn't mean you all of a sudden extend your trading window and start trading that early. Now what happens in the morning is you have um, a lot of reports come out at 8.30. So whether it's the um, uh, jobs numbers, things like that, they, they come out at 8.30. Also, the companies that report their earnings in the morning uh, they could also come out and maybe you get a head start on a trade that you were thinking about or to sell if you see a drastic move. So um, remember, so not all companies report after hours. We might talk about them on the closing beat as after hours, but a lot of companies report in the morning as well. And so it gives you a chance to get a head start. The key to after hours and pre-market is that uh, it's not some exciting, all of a sudden you're going to go trade and, and you're just going to make your money there and then you're going to sleep the rest of the day or go to work and things like that. Um, it's really pretty light. You really want to check the volume on the stocks that you're thinking about trading. If it's not the big name stocks, then uh, you probably should avoid it, right? Um, or if they didn't have earnings, right? If the company has earnings like some stock reporter, uh, Akamai, has earnings after hours, uh, then for that brief moment in time, that will get some attention uh, for, uh, you know, something that you can trade. So I just thought I'd cover that because there's a, a little bit of a disconnect there. And, and I always get that where people say, Dustin, you say the markets are lower after hours. How are you seeing that? And what's the secret sauce? No secret sauce. It's just the futures market for looking at the overall stock market to see what's, what's going on at that moment. Um, and then individual stocks, if you happen to see something shooting higher or lower, um, and maybe you're looking at it on your phone, that's all, all that's telling you is that it's giving you the data after hours or pre-market. So uh, that's really all I had for you. I wanted to do this one kind of, uh, make it a short video, because I knew things would go wrong. Things always go wrong when you change, but I appreciate all the nice comments there about the new set. Still a work in progress. The lighting is still, uh, has some work to be done. Actually, this light's not even on here. And uh, we're going to eventually hang all the lights from the ceiling so that we don't have to mess with the lighting. It's just done every single time. Uh, Jaron asks, who, who trades after hours? Uh, a lot of active traders and a lot of companies. None of the big companies usually focus after hours because there's usually very low trading activity, meaning tr low volume. So you won't find like a mutual fund changing positions or something like that. It's not going to happen there. A lot of times it's the active traders or people that are responding to earnings of individual stocks. 
If we're talking about the futures market, Jaron, everybody. Everybody trades the futures markets from the big funds um, all to Warren Buffett even, uh, to the individual traders there. So um, you can find pockets of opportunity there, by the way. Like during the day, of course, the futures markets are going crazy. Plenty of activity, plenty to do. Um, in the evening, usually that sort of um, six when they open till about nine to 10 at night, not much happens because we're in this weird period where Japan is getting started. Uh, China is sort of almost up and running by 9, 9.30 Eastern time. And so uh, it's pretty, pretty boring about that time. Now, as you get into overnight, it can be active just because of the world markets and things going on there. But I uh, hope that answers your question without confusing you. Uh, bring it into camp. Yeah, work in progress, right? So we actually have a couple things set up. So when, the, when we're using the blackboard there, it'll actually zoom in to just that area. So uh, although I'm not going to do it today, there's uh, a whole bunch of different settings where it zooms in everywhere, and I'm just not ready for it yet. The tech stuff, not, not my thing. So once we get it dialed in, uh, maybe tomorrow, because the video topic for tomorrow, we'll have to use the blackboard there. So uh, you'll see how it, it's actually sort of a moving thing rather than just a uh, stale camera angle. Yep. Yeah, financial investor, we'll be talking about that later. Uh, stocks starting at the highs, coming off the highs. I hate how the market started today. We talked about it on Friday, how I did not want the markets to start higher. Uh, we'll cover that later uh, in that show. By the way, the show we're talking about is the closing beat. We do it at 5 o'clock every day, cover the stock market. It's actually pretty cool. We'll try not to mess it up today, but uh, check it out if you like. The candy's on a shelf over here. You have to actually come by the office to see the candy now because uh, I got tired of staring at it every day. Uh, AMD, we're going to cover that one later also, so uh, we won't leave you out there. Uh, we'll be talking about AMD, but Robert is correct. Can't give you specific advice, but uh, I'll be, we're going to review that one uh, and a handful of other semiconductors because those are already on my radar for the day. Uh, if you're located in Florida, your trading pre-market starts at 9 and post at 6. Uh, pre-market in Florida starts at 4. It, it's Eastern time. So uh, on the NASDAQ, it's 4.15. Um, and uh, post-market starts uh, really right after the close. The markets just keep going um, until 8.15, I believe, is when the cutoff is. Nobody trades to that point, so that's why nobody knows the exact. I mean, it's 8.15, I believe, is the actual time. Most traders stop about 6.30 or so if there's any adjustments to make. Look, everybody goes home, you know? <laughs> cool. Uh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Cool. Well, thanks for all the compliments there. Uh, like I said, make this one short for you today. We'll be back tomorrow on the Doe Show. Uh, this is going to be the show where we're going to have guests. We're going to have people that can help you get your dough straight that may be in a different category. Maybe it's real estate, right? Maybe it's uh, insurance. Maybe it's something else that we don't really do here at Jazz Wealth, but that we can find someone that's qualified that has something to offer as far as uh, tips, tricks, things like that to just really expand on what we got. Uh, so that is that. Uh, sorry about the notification last night. I do a video to welcome every single customer uh, to Jazz. I also do birthday videos for them, and occasionally uh, one of them gets marked as public. So not directed at you. That was totally my bad. <laughs> so uh, it happens. Anyways, have a great rest of your day. We'll be back at um, uh, 5 o'clock to do the closing beat. Uh, lots to cover there. Hope you'll join us. We'll see you then. Why should you choose Jazz Wealth as your retirement or long-term investing service? Our portfolios are managed by us, not some faceless mutual fund manager. Our private classes will teach you everything about investing and getting your dough straight. Best of all, our fiduciary standard means your best interest comes before ours.